Hi everybody, I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture, Ginger. Uh, the crew is not here because of everything that's going on with this coronavirus. <sighs> so we, we got a little mixture. It's more than just the just entertainment stuff. It's pop culture. It's things that we need to know. People, you can't drink bleach. I know, it doesn't seem weird that we have to tell people to not drink bleach, but there are people out here thinking that that cures this virus. It doesn't. Please do not drink bleach. If you owe taxes, at 90 days after April 15th, you have a 90-day extension. If you owe, they realize what's going on out here with people losing jobs, can't pay their bills. Uh, they're going to be suspending home foreclosures, evictions. Wherever you live, check and see, because here in Philadelphia, they're not going to cut off water. I believe if you have your electricity, they're realizing the dire straits that our country is in, and hopefully that windfall will call. I know many people are saying, but that's not enough. Let them start with something, because Americans are suffering. Also, Chinese flu, that's not the correct term. It's not, it's not, I, I, it's not even up for discussion. Please, no Chinese flu jokes. There are a lot of Asians, Americans, and they were born in America uh, that are going through discrimination. They're going through violence as a woman of color. I say, I would not want it happening to me. I would not want nobody out here saying the black flu, the African-American flu, if it came from Africa, I, I, I. we got to practice kindness. And when you have leaders who want to perpetuate that, you can't even just have that kind of conversation. We all have to get through this together. When it, it's, a, it's a changing time. We don't know how long it's going to last, but it's also a time when we have to practice common sense and we must practice kindness. Uh, there were a couple of things I wanted to get into. Speaking of kindness, Sierra and Russell Wilson, I love them as a couple. They recently donated a million dollars for the Seattle Food Bank. Country star Brad Paisley, he's helping elderly in Nashville get their groceries. So in the midst of all the madness, there are people out here who are really doing good and we give a shout out to them. Uh, should I go right into sports? I'm going to go into sports real quick. Tom Brady is going with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He hasn't signed it yet because of the, everything that's going on. But 42 years old, they're going to pay him $30 million a year. Tampa Bay is going to be the host of next year's Super Bowl. Jameis Winston is no longer a quarterback for Tampa Bay. They're showing him the door. He's 26 years old. Where will he land? He's the type of player because he led the NFL in passing. When he's good, he's good. When he's bad, he's, mm, but where is he going to land? Cam Newton, wait, why is he being trolled by his baby mama? Yes, he's being trolled by his baby mama. Um, Cam Newton, will he wind up with the Washington Redskins? Carolina Panthers are showing him the door. Um, Floyd Mayweather, our prayers and condolences go out to him. His uncle, who's only 58 years old, passed away. This is a horrible time for Floyd Mayweather. The mother of his children passed away. Now on the news of the man who was a father figure, his uncle, his trainer. Prayers going out to Floyd Mayweather. Major League Baseball stepping up to the plate as we go through all of this stuff. Each team, no matter what league, American or national, they're given a million dollars to help concession workers in their cities. So many people are, are out of work and they're, they're realizing the economic impact that this is going to have on many, many people. Kevin Durant, he and three other players on the, uh, the New Jersey Nets tested positive for the coronavirus. He was hanging out with Drake. Drake has isolated himself. He's not saying it. if he has it, though. Strip clubs in Atlanta shut down because of the virus. We got to take this serious, y'all, when they talk about the social distancing. And with the testing, I think we're going to find out a lot more people have it. Now, some people don't have symptoms. But I think we're going to find out a lot of people, you know, that have it more than we think. I want to start the entertainment and just like keep going with it. I didn't want to keep breaking off to do sports and stuff like that. I think I've gone through all the sports. Okay. Joe Biden 
winning in the primaries, will Bernie Sanders step step aside? Will he step back? What is Bernie Sanders going to do? I know politics have taken a backseat to everything that's going on, but the primaries yesterday. Whoopi Goldberg returned to The View. She's doing it from home last year. She almost died with that sepsis, so she's taking precautions. Oprah Winfrey is not a sex trafficker. I don't care if you don't like Oprah. I don't care if people say she canceled. They don't want anything to do with her, but the rumors of her being a sex trafficker are not true, and these are rumors that we just can't uh, be putting out there or believing. On Hulu, for those of us who are stuck at home, Little Fires Everywhere, I was talking about this, it's produced by Reese Witherspoon and Kerry Washington. It looks good, it looks mysterious, and then there's this huge fire based on a best-selling book. Reese and Kerry Washington were both the executive producers of this, and it is streaming on Hulu as we speak. Ava DuVernay is getting sued. Ava DuVernay and Netflix. Um, the Central Park Five prosecutor, Linda Fairstein, who was played by Felicity Huffman and When They See Us, is suing them. We know the Central Park Five is the exonerated five. She claims they portrayed her as a racist, unethical villain, determined to jail innocent children of color, at any cost. Linda Fairstein is claiming that her career was ruined. She wants a public apology. She wants money. She wants a disclaimer saying that when they see us, it's not true. These guys will never be the same. I had a chance to meet Corey Wise earlier this year and I just embraced him and hugged him. Their lives have been ruined forever. Yes, they are free now, but the nightmare of what they endured with this whole Central Park Five thing, it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare for the woman that got raped. It was a nightmare for these kids who never did it. Then they finally found out who did it. A nightmare all the way. But Linda Fairstein, mm, she trying to get money, claiming that she was portrayed wrong. Tamar Braxton, she's still with her boo. Yes, she's still boo loving. She recently celebrated her birthday and her boyfriend gave her a loving tribute on social media. Miley Cyrus, the pop star, she says she hasn't bathed in days because of the coronavirus. Everybody, we got to bathe. You can't stop washing because of the virus. You, you just can't. And then you can't be going on social media bragging that you're not bathing or changing your clothes. This Is this what the kids call clout chasing? Because it sounds like clout chasing to me, but she says she hasn't I don't think we needed to know all that. For those of us of a certain age, Lyle Wagner, we remember him from the Carol Burnett show. He was on Wonder Woman. He passed away at the age of 84. There have been different reports about Kobe Bryant's grave, uh, grave site, but they're saying that a disturbed man snuck on to the grave site and tried to dig it up. We don't know if it was Kobe's grave site, but they do say a man got on the ground and he was doing some digging. Was it Kobe? It's kind of like a back and forth thing. I don't think they want people to know if it was his indeed. Whew. I miss my crew. I do. I miss my crew. But we got to let you guys know what's going on. I want to reiterate, no drinking of the bleach. Bleach does not cure the coronavirus. We got to practice kindness. We got to practice patience. And, and 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 calm. And it's hard. People are losing their jobs. They're not getting money. They're stuck in the house. Their kids are driving them crazy. When I leave here today, I have a four-year-old niece. We got to go through her, her, her little lesson plan book. And I broke out in a sweat this morning. I, I did. I broke out in a sweat like, we got to do this when I get home. <laughs> you know, I used to want to be a school teacher. Believe it or not, I'm always talking and doing this in radio. But I wanted, I grew up wanting to be a school teacher. So we're going to put all of this to the test today. Thanks so much for joining us. It's not cute, not knowing. Today was kind of serious. I'm going to pick a day when I can call them. We're trying to do a thing so that you can hear Dexter and Toya and they can say hi, you know, and stuff like that. I'm working on it. I'm all by myself. I'm, I'm trying to learn all this stuff, but I appreciate you guys. I thank you for checking out the channel 
and 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 being with us and and rocking with the sister and we got to be calm these times that we're in it is it's serious and we got to we got to stay prayed up and we got to block out the nonsense from whatever angle it'll come it's not cute not knowing i'm patty jackson leave a comment tell people about the channel uh subscribe to the channel we will be here every day even if I got to take all the equipment and everything and do it from home, we're going to let you know what's going on. Thanks so much for joining us and have a good one.